Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today I want to take you along on a very busy video so hopefully it will be entertaining I mean it should be entertaining because there will be a lot of stuff going on first off I think I already showed you in the intro of me taking puppies outside so for a nice relaxing walk then I came back home did a workout right now I am following this uh, youtuber called grow with joe and oh my gosh I love her I love her dance workouts so I did one of those it was sweaty town, not, not gonna lie, but it was a good one. So then I went to shower, I ate breakfast, and right now, now I'm all prepared to sit at home. <laughs> so even though it's my day off, I want to use it for a little bit of work. So I want to paint another custom pot, and this one should be fun, not on the hard side, so the plan is to at least finish it in three or four hours, but 
time will show. In the background, I'll have Wakanda Forever playing because I haven't seen this movie yet. So I'm really excited already halfway through and oh my gosh. So I'll be painting the spot and then I have a lot of plenty stuff to do. I need to propagate some of my plants. I have some Hoyas in my mind, Hoya Carrii, uh, Syngonium Albo. I also need to propagate Syngonium Aurea, uh, Philodendron uh, Mame. What else? What else? I had a full list, so a bunch of plants will be cut in this video. I'll also show you some progress on my other propagations. I have some cool new leaves to show you and stuff like that. So it's gonna be like plenty day with me, slash arty day with me, slash small business owner day with me. It's a mix. It's a mix of everything. So without further ado, enough mumbling. Let me take you a little bit closer to myself. Let me show you the pot I will be working on, the design I have in my mind, and let's flip and kick start this video. I'm excited. I'm excited. Today's a good day. Even though it's snowing, we have a little sneak of sunlight, and that's enough for me. So let's do this. So I have this Phalaenopsis orchid in this pot of mine, and on the other side there is a drawing hidden. This is one of my personal designs that I just decided to draw many different witch stuff on the spot because it was autumn season and I just felt a little bit spooky vibes. So one of the actual decided to order something similar to that. So today I will be recreating this one and have twinning witchy pot with one of you, which is so fun in my opinion. So this is the design I am going to work on. I have already prepared another gray pot. Wakanda is in full action over here. So let's flip and do this. My heart is like a jar of pickles Kinda sour, kinda sweet, soaked in brine. No sandwich to pair with, lower than a side dish, no deep fry that I can call mine. Okay, phase one is all done. I'm not sure if you can see that since the pot itself is pretty gray, but I worked a little bit on a different design. I think this will be a little bit more cool than mine that has no pattern or, you know, like symmetry and stuff like that. This one's still not going to be perfectly symmetrical because I do not like that. It makes me feel like machine made it and it's not like handmade. So uh, it won't be perfectly similar, but it still will have some symmetry. Oh my gosh, what is this? We need to clean that. But yeah. Ooh, okay. Let's get to painting. My heart is like a jar of capers. A ball of salt won't go by itself. No pasta to compliment. All right, so I just finished two layers of black paint right now. I need to wait a bit until it will dry out. And I thought during that time, I will go ahead to work on some plant chores I had. But oh my gosh, guys, just look outside. So I'll be honest, I thought I will go ahead bring the soil from my balcony inside because I need to report some of my cuttings. Look at that, it's flipping snowing again, it's dark, it's, it's cold and all of my soil is frozen right now. So this already is not a... This is not working out already. Even though everything is great with painting right now, my plant chores are kind of on a hold because... <sighs> Flippin' winter. Flippin' winter still kicking ass and do not want to leave us, so... Contemplating time spent sitting on the market shelf But no more will I keep it tightly sealed Okay, you know what? I thought we won't go to the plenty stuff yet. I feel really inspired to paint, so I already did this. Wait, wait, wait. That. Look how cute it is. I love how white looks awesome on black. It looks like chalk on board. Isn't that beautiful? So I already have that. Then I'll go ahead into the crystal design, the moon and stuff like that. I actually tried to put you somehow closer so you can see how I'm painting these details, but it's so difficult to find how and where to put my phone for filming because I do not have any kind of tripod and stuff like that. I actually film with setup like this, 
very professional, I know, but this is all I have right now, so I'm not sure how to put you there. I'll try again, again, and then we'll go back to me with some updates. It's already been one and a half hours, and I have this. This. So, it will take me a while. So, yeah, let's stop talking and just go back to business. Gradually, it's been revealed That it's no good until it's open can't go unbroken Keep my heart all bottled up no Alright, I'll be honest, I just started painting, went for it, and it's been three and a half hours late. I mean, four hours later since I started. Molly's trying. What are you doing, baby? Cute. Anyway, so I just finished the spot. I still want to add nicks and eggs, but you know, sometimes less is better in my opinion. This is what it looks like for now. I still will need to take a second glance because whenever I paint anything, I just go, for example, to take lunch or leave the pot for the other day. And then I come back with like refreshed eyesight, you know, that haven't been staring at this same very drawing for four hours. And I just come up with some details and stuff like that but this is kind of final product for today's project oh my gosh i'm actually excited this turned out so so cute this is how my older design looked like and this is how the new one looks like so definitely gonna be twinning really excited about it but right now it's time to take some lunch because it's almost 3 p.m and i haven't ate any kind of lunch so i want to go ahead do something for myself and then we will take a look into some plants that I want to propagate because actually the day is running so so quickly it's a little bit disappointing and annoying but I'm glad I can take you along so let's let's do something delicious for lunch right <music> Actually, my fiancé had a week off just like I did, so Bolo right now is so not used to be without him and all day long he just stands here near the window looking for his dad. This is just breaking my heart. <laughs> I just washed some dishes because I needed a pan. I will, uh, I will eat some broccoli with some potatoes and whatever is left in the fridge. We actually, during our vacation, vacation at home, <laughs> staycation, we did not buy any groceries lately, so it will be something out of scraps. And then I probably will need to call my mom and my grandma. Uh, yesterday was my dad's birthday, and it was the second birthday after he passed away. So I just could not make myself call anyone from my family, even though I know it would be... It would be the right thing to do, because my grandma is broken, my mom is broken, and you know... It's probably nice when somebody calls you during days like, you know, his birthday. But at the same time, I bet a lot of people have been calling them and I just did not want it to be a part of this mess, you know, and just call maybe the other day and just see how she's doing, like my mom and my dad's mom and stuff like that. So I will do that and then I'll see you then.
Okay, and the last thing on the agenda, sorry for like cutting off my head, I'm really trying to fit everything in the frame, but the last thing on the agenda is actually to propagate some of my plants. I hadn't plans to do more plenty chores, but I'm gonna be honest, uh, the call wasn't easy with my grandma because I know how heartbroken she is in this week at least, and you know how everything just brings back so much memories, emotions and stuff like that. So. This wasn't a help, you know, before filming another part of the video because I just do not want to fake myself being happy and stuff like that, you know? And at the same time, like, a cherry on top was me finding out that I killed my Pride and Joy Astrophytum Super Kabuto. This was a very special plant I got for my, I think, last birthday. 45 euros guys flipping 45 euros for around that price which is insane amount of money for cacti but it was my pride and joy i was always just staring at it and it looks like i think whenever i was watching my cebu blue over here it was dripping onto the pot and it just it was over watered and i haven't watered it in a really long time so I'm super super bummed. This was my favorite cacti and yeah, this is this sucks. This really sucks. But anyway, today I want to propagate some more plants because I have like a full list of them, but today I will be propagating only some of them because I mean even those that I will be propagating, I'm not 100% sure I want to do it today because they are working on new leaves, but at the same time, you know what? We're just going to go with it. So, I have this pro box over here. Okay, let me put it aside for now. I have this pro box over here that right now is not that full anymore because I took some plants out when planting them. So I have this beautiful wait, let me clean the pear light. I have this beautiful Hoya Kalimantan in here. Gorgeous, right? It actually has roots peeking from the bottom, which is crazy. So, so cool, right? I also, I'll put it aside right now. I also have Hoya Svetlana that is going nuts on this leaf. I think this one is fully mature right now. This is the new leaf that grew in my care. And you know what? I think I will propagate it today as well and put it back here in the pot so we'll have two cuttings because this like long branch isn't working, right? <laughs> it just, it looks weird. So I'll be working on that as well. And I also have some other propagations in here. So I have a couple leaves of my sport variegated ZZ Zenzi that right now are not that intense because during winter months it was standing on this shelf. But right now this pro box standing really close to my grow light. So hopefully this will like bounce back a little bit of variegation. At the same time I'll receive some maybe sport variegated ZZs, which would be so, so cool. Let me put them aside right now. I also have a mystery philodendron in here. I don't remember which one that is. This is just a red stick with roots on it. But you know what? The roots look healthy. The plant itself looks pretty healthy. So I'm just leaving it be. It's actually from Urosh from that pretty cool unboxing you saw on my channel. I will leave a link over here if you want to go ahead and check it out. Balu, please stop crying. I also have... Uh, another red stick. <laughs> don't remember what that is. I mean, it would be smart of me to label stuff in here, but you know me, you know? I mean, I do not even remember the name of this boy. Oh my gosh, that root. Look at it. So we're losing that leaf, but I have... 
have more cuttings of this one in here and all of them seem happy and growing new leaves right now which is so so cool i'm so happy for them so i'll just put them back in here cute cute philodendrons Gosh, why do I forget the name of these whenever I'm filming a video? But whenever I'm speaking with my friends or mom about plants, I always do remember them, of course. Then I also have this cool philodendron melanocrysum cutting in the corner over here that I do not want to move right now. And then we have all this spare place that can be working with some other cuttings. So why not to include more in here because since it's standing in like VAP spot with VAP conditions and stuff like that why not to put more plants inside and just have them like thriving and growing happy happily ever after you know <sighs> I'm so bummed about this astrophytum guys holy nuts you have no idea but anyway okay so maybe what the heck is going on with the heck thanks Okay, so probably let's start from this Hoya that I have in here, Hoya Svetlana. It already have little tiny roots on branch in here. Did you saw it? Oh my gosh, boys. But anyway, I want to cut it a little bit. I mean, there is no point of keeping this whole branch for this like uh, bottom cutting because nothing will happen out of it. But this cutting can use all of the space for roots and stuff like that so i want to cut as much as possible for this baby and in that way it will have a big big chance to grow beautiful roots oh my gosh i can't believe i did it will stop pushing but i have this highest one plan in here so right now i will take this cutting out and put both of these cuttings inside and at the same time we'll see the roots on this one and then they will grow in this Balloon, stop pushing! Oh my gosh! Okay? Okay, comfy? Alright. You know what? I expected more roots on this one, to be honest. But at the same time, it have more than it did when I unboxed it, so it's already a great thing about it. Still have some lackables on it. <laughs> so this is where I will be putting back both of these cuttings and hopefully from now on there will be a happy couple taking some of the pearlite out well I, mean, I hope you can see at least a bit of that so I'm putting back all of the pearlite from now on in this cup I'll have two cuttings instead of one which I think is so so cool and I did unbox this Hoya about one and one month and some weeks ago. So it wasn't that long. I mean, I guess. So it wasn't that long ago and I already am propagating it and making two plants out of it. So we'll have... Hey, Bushy Svetlana! <laughs> so exciting. Two beautiful Hoya Svetlanas inside right now. Oh, really exciting. Okay. Then let's go to my Syngoniums. So I have two Syngoniums. One of these is this beautiful Syngonium Aurea. That is just gorgeous. It actually is working right now on a new leaf. This one, right? But at the same time, you know what? We just want to go for it. So I'm not sure how many cuttings I want to take of it, but by looking at the notes, here's a little of close-up. It's already a pretty decent amount of notes in here. After these cuttings will root, I will plant them all together because just look at this bottom of the pot. It's really ready to go into something bigger. So we will help him out later on this spring. Okay. Okay, we have cutting number one. Bam. Look at it. I did not want it to cut this one separately because in this cutting there are two notes because this specific cutting did not have any variegation almost so there is no point of me trying to propagate it and have a completely green uh, syngonium right so i propagated both of these because the next leaf came super super cool super super amazing so i'll put it aside for now let's take a better look okay i'll propagate one more for sure Bam. Another beautiful variegated leaf, right? Take that. And you know what? I 
I think one more. One more. Okay. This is what we're left with. So this is a mama plant and two babies with super cool variegated leaves on this one. So I'll take this one aside for now. Somewhere over here. Okay. Right? And these ones I will just pop here into the pure light. They will have their own corner where they can grow and be happy. I mean, I have a rooting hormone. Yes, I do have over here. So one second, I will take it to give better chances for these babies. Everything is fine. I have rooting hormone over here, right? This is such an old one, but you know, I don't use it so too much. So it's still pretty great. In perfect conditions, when I would be in full on mood and having a great day, I would let these cuttings callous for at least a couple hours. And only then I would put them into the hormone and put into the pear light box. But right now, you know what? I feel everything should be fine. I'm not too, too scared about it. Because this is syngonium. Syngoniums are pretty cool and easy to propagate. So, bam. And into the corner it goes. This is how the hormone looks from. Bam, right? Beautiful variegation on this one as well. Bam, right? Okay, perfect. So on this side I have my uh, Syngonium aureus. I also have Syngonium podophyllum alba, which is white variegated Syngonium. Just gave me this beautiful leaf and is already working on a new one. This is the one that I was doubting to propagate or not, but we're just gonna do it as well. So. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just go with it. Cutting number one. Beautiful. <laughs> Don't ask. This just happened when there was not enough light. Cutting number two. Still decent variegation on stem, on leaf, so not to worry about that one. Three. Beautiful. Four, just like that. Five. This one has pretty cool root on it as well. Boom. Okay, more, more. And, and I'm gonna tell you why in a second. Okay. So just look at this mama plant. It's just so laggy. It, the notes are empty without any leaves. So this is just, it doesn't look great. So why do I keep it if I just go with the propagating? I will propagate more. So, one more. Okay, how many? Five. Then we have this space with two nodes. Six. And that one I will keep. Seven. As a mama plant, right? So once again, I'll put this one aside. Okay, and last but not least, I have this like wet stick. Hopefully, something happens with this one. So, I'll put it close to the others just in case. Okay, so right now we have like so looking pro box, right? Looks pretty cool in my opinion. Then I have a philodendron mame. This is a plant from Urash as well, but from his previous shipment to my home. That was about one and a half years ago. So this plant is struggling. It was struggling with trips, but right now, after I finally finished the fight, I think this is time to propagate because we have a bunch of empty notes in here. So I will just do the same process I did with these syngoniums. But maybe this ones, I'll take a little bit more notes into one cutting. See it, right? You know what? I will take 
only two cuttings from this one since it's pretty much a baby and I want to have a bit more notes on each cutting because this is a pretty new plant for me even though it's been in my home for one and a half year it wasn't doing great as you can tell so I just want to be really careful it's not as easy as the syngoniums are unfortunately so once again doing the same thing putting root on, rooting hormone onto the cutting and, and, and sticking it in the pyrolite. Okay, and last but not least, I also have this beautiful jewel orchid that stopped blooming for me about a month ago. Ah! Okay, I just cut my finger. I need scissors for this one. Okay, this is the old bloom that I just cut off, right? This is how it looks like. It looks sad. It looks really thirsty. So I want to go ahead. Since this one have two branches, two new babies coming from the top, I will take a little bit more cutting to have it as a one plant. And then take a couple more cuttings as a wet sticks. So cutting number one. Oh my gosh, look at these leaves. They're so beautiful, right? Cutting number two. number three Bam. and the rest of the plant already have been branching out as you can tell I need to water it but here on the very top is a little tiny baby growing and on the very bottom you can see two more babies growing which is really cool in my opinion so I'll do the same thing with them and same same business guys I'm here happening pretty much same business oh beautiful oh my gosh i love this jewel orchid this one is definitely my favorite one these ones i will just lay on very top of this pyrolite because i don't know it just feels right <laughs> sometimes sometimes you just gotta do it that feels right you know what your gut is saying to do so this frog box is just filled with cuttings don't want to bend it too much so everything will just fall over and all of my work will be you know for nothing so this is how we're looking for now i will put back my beautiful hoyas right now into the spot that i left in the very middle so it won't be covering you know any other cuttings also we'll add two sport variegated zizi leaves in here as well and I will keep you informed how everything is going. So the plan is for me to water it about once every two weeks or three weeks. I actually do not put too much water inside since I have it closed like 23 hours out of 24. So they still have about an hour for aeration and stuff like that. But at the same time, it's still pretty much moist inside in there. The air is pretty humid and it's actually pretty great in there. Oh my gosh, look how many plants. It's so exciting. Oh no, Hoya Svetlana fell. Oh wait, casualty. Casualty. It's fine. It's fine. I just need to stop moving it so much. Okay. Okay. We're fine. Everything's fine. Hi, Jacqueline. <laughs> okay, this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this kind of vloggish style at the same time, just a day with myself and my problems and my business. I actually had a lot of fun taking you along. It felt like there was a friend sitting with me in this room and just chatting about life or more like listening to my life. <laughs> So it was fun. Hopefully it was fun to you as well. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more like day with me videos on my channel. And before leaving you, of course, let me teach you another language lesson. Okay, random one. Since I was painting a witchy inspired uh, pot that is already in another room, so I don't have it with myself. But in this design was a moon. So let me teach you how to say moon in Lithuanian and in Russian. If you want to say moon in Lithuanian, you need to say Menules. Once again. Manulis. And if you want to say moon in Russian, you need to say Luna. Once again, Luna. And this is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave in the comments moons if you watch till the very end. Please subscribe if you want to see more plenty content. And like this video if you enjoyed it. And hopefully, I'll see you in my next one.